Is the Fast and Furious the best movie from 2001? No, not even close. Like, maybe top five, probably more like top ten. But it is still pretty good. It just has a lot of competition. But with that, today we are recapping the events of The Fast and the Furious. And if you think it's a bad movie, watch this video. We'll prove you wrong. So the year is 2001, and the best street racing movie has just come out. So what do you do? Hmm. Absolutely nothing. Wait, so you're not going to go see the movie? You must not be much of a car guy. No, I love cars. I just, I wasn't born. Wesley, you know, you're really something else. I know. Look, you got to think four-dimensional. Wrong movie. Okay, just just imagine you were alive back then. Oh, yeah, definitely. I would definitely go see it. I mean, it sounds great. Oh, it was. Lots of fast cars and heists and races and early 2000s written all over it. Wow. That's crazy. So how does it start? Well, you see, there's this group of thieves that have been robbing trucks, like, right on the road, like, while they're driving. No way. Yeah, so the FBI sends this cop, Brian O'Connor, to go undercover to see who, which one of these gangs is behind these robberies. No way. Yeah, so Brian goes to this diner owned by the Toretto's where this girl named Mia works. No way! You're getting a little annoying with that, you know. No way. Yeah, anyway. So Mia is actually the sister of the famous street racer Dominic Toretto. No! Ah! If you say no way one more time, I will run you over with your car. Oh, kidding. Really? Yeah, so anyway, Brian gets in a fight with this friend of Dom, who really likes Mia. But Brian also really likes Mia, and has been flirting with her the whole time. No way! Really? Really? You just... <sighs> You know what? Never mind. Anyway, so Dom breaks up the fight and sends Brian on his way. Later, Brian goes to this street racing event, and he bets his car to get in, because, you know, they, they have to bet money to get in. But he's hoping that he can win so that he can get into Dom's gang. Would it really matter, though, if he was good? I mean, gangs like that usually are tight-knit and, like, family, basically, so... Will he even be able to get close to them? Well, none of that really matters because Brian loses the race. What a loser. And then the cops show up and Dom's left without a car. Wait, 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 wait. What, but what happened to his car? Okay, so get this. See, what happened was, that's the way the story was written, so shut up. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, my bad. So, the police start chasing Dom down, but... Right before they catch him, Brian shows up and gets him out of there. Wait, so the police couldn't catch Dom in their cop cars? Should have been pretty easy. You know, you ask a lot of stupid questions for an idiot. Anyway, this makes Dom start to trust Brian. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So you're, you're not going to you're not going to answer that? No, I told you. It was a stupid question. Oh. Oh. Um. My, my bad. My bad. Anyway, so after Brian gets Dom, they just so happen to drive into one of the wrong parts of town. It's uh, one of Dom's rival's territory. So he shows up and shoots up their car. So... Yeah. They have to walk back now. Wait, wait, so that's it? They just destroy the cart? They don't, like, kill him or anything? Seems like something they'd want to do. Again, stupid questions. Of course not. Look, okay, you see, if because if they did that, then we wouldn't have a movie. Oh. So now, Brian is a part of the family. For a movie about 
criminals. There seems to be a lot of family theme going on here. I know, get used to it, because it gets worse. Really? Well, you know, eventually that's what all these movies are really about. Oh, okay. So now that Brian is a part of the Toretto family gang, uh, he decides to break into one of their rivals to see if they're the ones responsible for the heist. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Brian's like some kind of secret agent here, isn't he? Yeah, so when he goes to break in, he's actually caught by Dom and Vince. And both of them think that he's a cop. But, but, but why, why would that point to him being a cop? The two don't seem to go together. Be because it does. Shut up. Anyway, he convinces them that he's not a cop and that he was just trying to break in to gain intel for the upcoming race, Race Wars. And and then they buy that after believing he was a cop? Well, because the evidence for him being a cop is so small compared to his story, he is able to convince them. So Dom and Vince help Brian break in, where Brian sees some items that he thinks were stolen from the trucks. Well, it's really good to find out who's actually behind these robberies, because for a minute there, I actually thought it could... It's actually Dom. But that doesn't automatically mean it was Dom, so... Yeah, so it turns out that the FBI actually raided the home of the other gang, and it turns out that all those items were actually purchased legally. Oops. Ah, but still does No, but at the Race Wars event... Brian overhears Dom and Mia fighting, and then Dom, Vince, and Letty drive off. Ah, but that still doesn't mean it was- No, no, no. The next scene is them pulling off a heist on another truck, so it's definitely them. No way! Gosh, Wesley. Brian is able to track them down with the help of Mia, but there's a big problem. See, they had already started to try to rob this truck, but the truck driver- has a shotgun. No way! <sighs> Killing me, Smalls. Again, wrong movie, but... No, we're almost done. We're almost done. <sighs> okay, so during the heist, Vince gets badly hurt, and Brian helps him so he doesn't die. But in doing so, he reveals that he's an undercover cop. Man, I bet Dom looks at Brian the way my parents look at me. With utter disappointment. That's exactly the look he gave him. Anyway, so Dom and Letty leave before the cops show up, and Brian goes to confront Dom at his house. If he, and by extension the police, know where Dom is, then why has this whole thing been so hard? <laughs> That's what she said. Ugh. <sighs> Anyway, so, after that, Dom and Brian are yelling at each other in Dom's front yard. Then one of Dom's crew members drive up, Jesse. He actually bet his car in one of the race and race wars and lost it, but he still has the car. So, he owes a rival gang a car. They are about to walk up to him, start talking to him, and then these motorbikes come running, driving up the street. It's the rival gang, and they shoot Jesse, dead causing Dom and Brian to chase after them. So, are they friends again? I'm I'm confused. Not really, but they end up killing one of the drivers and seriously injuring the other. I guess that's... some kind of justice. And before Dom races off again, he has one final race with Brian. Brian could have arrested him a long time ago. The race was a tie, and they both fly over the railroad crossing just as a train blows through. What? No way. Yes, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Not doing that. Not doing that. Anyway, so Dom and Brian keep driving. Then a semi-truck pulls out right in front of Dom, causing him to flip. He's dead? Of course not. It was a tiny flip. Uh, 
Oh. Okay. So with that, Dom's car is all smashed up, and police are on their way. So Brian gives Dom the keys to his car so he can get away. And why would he do that? Because family. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Of course. You know, Wesley, we're kind of like family. We are family. Sadly, uh, we're cousins. Ooh, maybe we should go pull off a heist sometime. David, I'm not entirely sure if you should be talking about that on here, especially with people watching. Watching what? Don't worry about it. Let's just stick to doing the podcast and not worrying about any heists. You know, that's probably a good idea. I mean, with a new one coming out every week, we do keep busy. Exactly. And with that, be sure to join our family by hitting that subscribe button and join us next week on The Trailcast. Who are you talking to? I mean, we're already family. <laughs>